Hey guys, how y'all doing? Bionicosaurus here, and in this video we will be reviewing the Collecta Medusa Ceratops. Starting with overall look, this figure to me, just on the first impression that I get, is very colorful. I mean, it has some other good attributes to it, but to me the thing that really jumps out is the coloration. It's a good combination of being bright and eye-catching without being too, uh, overpowering or unrealistic or unnaturalistic. It does work, and you can imagine this as a real animal, even though it is very bright and interesting to look at. Uh, as you can see, the body is primarily kind of a, a pale pinkish orange, which, uh, with, excuse me, these, um, kind of lightly dry brushed or painted on, just really scratched on there, bits of black or dark gray, which uh, really adds for some detail and some nice patterning. There is green on the back, the quills or feather-like filaments uh, along the hips and the base of the tail are white with a bright green tip to all of them. The horns are black, the frill is a combination of greens, blacks, and whites with some tiny bits of orange in there. Uh, the beak is kind of a kind of a warm orangish color, almost like a sherbet kind of color. You see, I'm getting out all the fancy, uh, fancy words for color in this, for colors in this video. Uh, the eyes are black. Inside the mouth is pink. It's a good array of different colors, and it looks really, really nice. The sculpt is also really good. Just ignoring the paint job for a little bit. Um, all the detail is pretty nice. Of course, we will get to that more in the next section of the review. Uh, the pose isn't incredibly exciting. It's just kind of a walking pose. They've interestingly enough gone for this uh, gate. You can tell the gate they're trying to emulate uh, is where, you know, as you can see, the two feet on this side are back, the two feet on the other side are forward. It's that mammalian gate. I believe dogs wa walk like this, and I know cats do because my cat definitely walks like that. Um, it's interesting, I believe we have trackways that show otherwise, but it's not exactly a major thing to get annoyed by. My main issue is that the pose, while it is somewhat dynamic, I mean he is walking forward, it's a little stiff, his legs aren't really that apart from each other, it looks like he's just kind of shuffling around, maybe just looking around an area and uh, it could be a bit more uh, dynamic and exciting. So, for overall appearance, I give this figure an A. While the sculpt may not be the most exciting thing in the world, the paint job is really eye-catching and just really well done. Getting started with detail, this figure's detail is quite good. First of all, the paint job, it's not just attractive, it is fairly well detailed. I really appreciate a lot of the nice patterning of blacks along the torso and all of the interesting patterns of black and white and uh, green and orange and all this stuff going on on the frill and the head. It's a lot nicer than your typical Ceratopsian eye spots that they so often uh, are portrayed with. One thing I love about the detail on this model is that literally every single scale is sculpted, or at least as far as I can see. Um, the body is consistently covered in these small rounded scales, and then the belly has these uh, larger, almost crocodilian-like scales uh, that are a bit more square or rectangular. One thing that I think could be better detailed in my opinion um, is the front feet. The toes are really kind of squished together, they're not very defined, and, uh, and the paint on the hooves is not very defined. It's kind of almost blended into the other colors of the foot, and it just comes across as a little bit messy, and, and, and the, the toes are a little bit obscured. So in conclusion, uh, for detail, I give this figure an A-. minus. The paint job and all the paintwork is pretty well done, and the sculpting is fantastic. On to the final category, scientific accuracy. And for the most part, this figure gets a lot right. Um, it does get a few things wrong, and we'll get to those later, but first of all, let's talk about some of the things that are good and paleontologically accurate about this model. First of all, the proportioning, for the most part, is fairly correct. They've given him the uh, short barrel-shaped body that a Ceratopsian should have, along with the muscular but very stubby tail. Uh, the feet are not too elephantine, which is nice to see, although we will get into the front feet, which have a, a few issues. 
Um, although the back feet, I really, really like. They are so unelephantine with no fleshy padding. They look like feet, not like pillars. Um, the front legs are appropri appropriately shorter. Excuse me, that is a hard word to say. Not really. I'm just, I'm just bad. <laughs> bad at life. No. Uh, anyway, um, but yeah, the the front legs are definitely a lot shorter than the the hind legs, which is good. Um, the head is quite large, which is wonderful to see because you know they had really large heads, uh, Ceratopsians, and uh, obviously very large frills. Um, that's pretty much most of the good things to say. Oh, all the horns and hornlets and all that stuff on the head, as far as I can tell, are accurate. I have looked at a lot of uh, pictures of the skull of Medusa Ceratops and a lot of other reconstructions, and as far as I can tell, that is all correct. So now let's get into some of the very minor issues. Starting with the skull, like I said, pretty much all the horns and little ornamentations of bone and, and little hornlets and things are indeed correct. However, there are a few small things that are wrong. First of all, I can't seem to locate an ear hole anywhere. It should be right in here between the jugal bone and the frill, but it is not. Uh, let me look at the other side. Yeah, yeah, it just, it appears to be absent. I don't, this guy's deaf. Um, <laughs> um, another issue is that the large nasal openings uh, on the snouts are, uh, they're actually concave, so he is a bit shrink-wrapped. That's really disappointing to see on a Ceratopsian, but uh, based on their other figures, uh, especially some of their theropods, it's not really surprising that of all companies, Collecta made this mistake. They seem to have a real issue with over-defining the openings in the skull. Um, these days, you would either see the large nasal opening not defined at all, or actually convex with a big inflatable skin flap, uh, perhaps for, uh, I don't know, for um, making louder noises like the crests of some hadrosaurs. That's what has been suggested uh, by a few people. Uh, another issue, let me just uh, cut to a different angle So here. once again, I turn to the front feet. Like I said when I was talking about detail, the um, toes are very squished together, and that is not only a bit undetailed and a bit messy looking, it's also a bit inaccurate, as the toes really should be splayed out and the feet should just be larger, they should look more like the back feet. If you want to see feet done really, really well on a Ceratopsian figure, I suggest taking a look at the front feet of the Safari Limited Nasuto Ceratops. That figure has wonderfully done feet. Um, this figure, they come across as a bit small and column-like, almost like sauropod feet or primitive uh, Theraphorian feet. Uh, and also, they gave them too big of fleshy pads on the back. Uh, they didn't make the bottoms of the feet completely round, but they should be even more concave than they are. Also, the legs, especially the front ones, appear a bit skinny, um, with the torso and the tail all being so appropriately uh, robust. It would have been nice to see the limbs sharing that proportioning. So for accuracy, I give this figure an A-. There are some minor issues, some things to complain about, but for the most part, it is really good. So now for the final rating of this figure, the Collecta Medusa Ceratops Lokii. I'm going to amount this figure an A-. minus. It has some small accuracy issues and some small other things to complain about, but overall, this figure is really good and it is fastly becoming my favorite Ceratopsian figure from Collecta and one of my favorite Ceratopsian figures of all time. Thank you for watching and Bionicosaurus signing out.